Coming up, a detailed walkthrough, and I mean detailed, of the Harmony of the Seas. full-time cruisers, Mark and Phyllis Milo. Hi everyone, we are so, so happy you are here. Boy, we have a treat for you. And I know this is a really long video, so I do, because this ship is so big. This is one of the largest ships on the seas right now, Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. I would love for you to watch the whole thing because there are so many little tiny areas that you might miss if you don't watch the video. So, and I understand you probably don't have an hour to just to sit there unless you want to like nap in between, but you might just want to watch a little bit, pause, watch a little bit more because really there's so much to see and I would hate for you to miss any of it. And folks, I do want to mention that while you're watching this video at any time, you can feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn that uh the notifications are so yeah. hit the bell for that thank you yeah and i would love to know as we're doing this video to comment to us have you ever been on this ship what are your favorite parts and what are you really looking forward to we would love to hear back from you we were waiting to hear well what do you say oh you know what i want to do before we start the video i took notes wait i want to mention a few fun facts about the ship fun and facts fun facts because there's so many things. Oh, he came up with the first fun fact. The African elephants. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you like ele African elephants, but this ship weighs more than 17,000 African elephants. 17,000? Yes. I missed the thousand part. That's I thought he said, bunch. so why African elephants? Because they're the largest breed of elephants. We learned something new when we Googled that fact. So that's kind of cool. So this ship has more than 20 dining options. Oh, I'm getting hungry. So you're not going hungry. And many of them are free. Some of them you pay for, but many are free. And we'll let you know as the video goes what you have to pay for and what is included in the cruise they're fare. They're all good. Uh, more than, thir no, not more than, exactly. 13 bars and lounges. That's okay. You're not going thirsty. The shows. Greece, which is fabulous. We, as much as we are on this cruise ship, we don't miss Greece. It's one of our favorites, so we love that. The ice shows, aqua show, the comedies, so much more. Every night there's something going on. Water slides, zip line, flow rider. Tons of fun. Climbing wall. Oh, and the ice skating, um, the ice skating rink, they have free ice skating time. Just have to make sure to pair uh, bring some long pants. So you need long pants for that. So um, let's just jump in the video I've got now. one more. Oh, what? The Harmony of the Seas is over twice as long as Noah's Ark was. Not as many animals though. Well, there are a lot of animals. Oh Here's yeah, one. I saw a few. Woo! Let's <laughs> see the, let's see the ship now. <laughs> Enjoy. We are going to start today's tour on deck three in the aft end, which you're going to find the main dining room, the American Icon Grill. There are three main dining rooms on this ship and they are all in the aft end on decks three, four, and five. They all look about the same, so we're really only going to look at this one and we'll skip the ones from deck four and five. The detail on this ship is fabulous. I've been on this ship so many times and I think every time I go on, I see something new. Not that it's new, I just didn't notice it before. There's just so much. Each table has a table number on it you're going to be assigned a table if you have traditional dining, which is the early or late dining, and you'll have the same table, same waiters every single night. If you have my time dining, your table will change. Wasn't that glass wall amazing? Some of the tables will be shared tables, some will be just you and your group.
Moving on to deck four, staying in the aft section. So this is the deck four main dining room. Coming up ahead is the Izumi Hibachi and Sushi restaurant, which is not part of your cruise fare, does cost extra money to go here. Recommendations are, uh, are um, recommended for any of the specialty restaurants and you wanna do that early in the cruise because they do fill up. Again, we're at the aft end of the ship at this time. Up ahead, midship, we have our home, usually Casino Royale. Mark and I are avid casino goers. Coming in from this um, end to the left, is going to be the non-smoking side. To the right is the smoking side. The bar in the middle is a hopping place, usually fully stocked, two, three, four bartenders working. These little seating areas are kind of cool. You can usually catch some sporting events going on. And there were seats on both sides of those um, TV, the walls of TV. Casino cashier back there on the left. Two Texas Hold'em cash game tables. Host stand is right there. Getting out of the casino can be very tricky for many people. What you wanna do is hug the outside walls of either side the smoking or the non-smoking, so the exits are on the, both sides of the ship. Now this side of the ship uh, is the art gallery where all this art is for sale. The other side is just a hallway with just some decorations. This is Park West Gallery. Turning to the right from the exit is our Studio B, which is the ice skating rink. There's going to be um, shows in here, ice skating shows by amazing athletes. The ice skaters are really great. They also have open ice skating sessions. The only requirement is you have to wear long pants. They'll also have other activities in here like the Crazy Quest game show, which is a do not miss show. It is so funny. If you like to laugh, go to the show. I could have turned left, I could have turned right. So we're gonna go straight ahead here and turn right into the Diamond Club, which if you are um, a Diamond, Diamond Plus or Pinnacle member with a loyalty program with Royal Caribbean, you have access to this private lounge couple of computers in the back with a printer that you can use. You do have to use your own Wi-Fi package though. They also offer um, a continental breakfast, light afternoon snacks, and a happy hour in the evening. That's where your concierge desk will be who can make reservations for you, help you with anything that you might be having uh, problems with. To be a diamond, you have to have 80 crown and anchor points. 
one point equals one night. Unless you're in a suite, then it's two points per night. Or if you're a solo cruiser, it's two points per night in a regular cabin, three points per night in a suite. And those points accumulate from cruise to cruise. Those stairs will go up later. It goes up to deck five. Those are the stairs I like to use just because they're pretty. <laughs> Coming into the non-smoking casino. It is small, but it's non-smoking. If you don't smoke, this is might, might be where you want to go. There are three table games, roulette, ultimate Texas Hold'em and blackjack and about 40 slot machines. There's also a cashier. If I had turned left from Studio B, this is what they call the attic, which that's usually um, where they do the comedy shows. This also turns into a club in the evening. You might also have some trivia events throughout the day. The art gallery auction is usually held here. You just check the app. Most of these venues, if not all, have bars inside for uh, when um, the shows are happening, they have bartenders and the bar, bar service there. So now we're in the forward part of the ship. Sorry about that, <laughs> a little skippity skip. The door was locked when I first came, but then I came back and the door was unlocked. So this is the Royal Theater. It's a two-story theater. We're gonna see both the downstairs and upstairs in this video. And it is a big theater. This show there, um, excuse me, the show on this ship is Grease. That's the main show and it's really good. They also have plenty of other entertainment each evening in the theater. I also forgot to mention that you'll wanna make reservations in the app for the main shows prior to boarding the ship because they do sell out. If you did not get a reservation, it's okay. They have a standby line. There's always people that don't show up. The doors will usually open 30 to 45 minutes prior to the show. I know this is actually deck five. I'm not changing the screen for this because we're only gonna be up here for just a moment. Then we're gonna go back downstairs and I'm gonna walk up the stairs um, that I mentioned to you before. So this is really deck five right here. Those doors were locked, I couldn't get out. <laughs> so back at deck four, just gonna show you where we are real quick. So there was the Casino Royale, the Diamond Lounge, Studio B, the Attic, and the stairs. Deck five, 
this is the hub of the ship. This is where so many things go on. Royal Theater up ahead, which we've already seen, we're not going in. So again, we're in the forward part of the ship. The best way to remember is the dining rooms, all the, the food is in the aft, the entertainment's in the forward. Bolero's is a great bar, generally going to have uh, Latin style music, a lot of dancing, live bands, other activities throughout the day. They might do trivia or napkin folding. <laughs> Shore excursions, if you book your own shore excursions there from those little screens. This is neat, it's a turning head. Right now it's not turning, so I come back and I wanted to show you what the turning head looks like, so we're gonna edit that in for you. And there it is. It's pretty neat. Central Park right there, which we'll go up here in a little bit and see that. It's really neat. The ship is so big. So this um, is really called the uh, Royal Promenade. And they'll have music in, in the evening. It's a great place to people watch on Deck 5. They're shopping everywhere. In the middle, when the shopping is open, they bring out watches and racks of clothing and tables of t-shirts. And I will suggest one thing to you is the, um, the things that go in the middle of the ship that are for sale, oftentimes they come out for one night and one night only, then they go into the storage unit and they don't come back out until the next sailing. There was one cruise I wanted to buy a purse and I was staying on for a back-to-back. -back. I thought, ah, oh, I'll just um, ask them at the end and it never came back out. So I never bought it. I had to wait for the next week and there it came out and I got it. But had I not been staying, I wouldn't have been able to. Sorrento's is a pizza place. It is included in your fare. It's um, generally open from, um, I believe 11 a.m. until like three in the morning, two or three in the morning. we're gonna go up one side and down the other so you get to see a little bit of everything. Next cruise, if you book a cruise while you're on a cruise, they give you incentives to do that in the form of onboard credit for the cruise that you're booking. Those stairs go to the focus gallery, the pho photography. a floating bar. I backed up because it was um, upstairs. It stops at deck. It goes from deck five to deck eight. And uh, the first time I came by, it was up on eight and I wanted to show it to you. So I came back to put that in there. This is a robotic bar. If you have a drink package, your um, beverages can be purchased at any bar, including this bar. If you have drink vouchers for your loyalty program for being Diamond, Diamond Plus, or Pinnacle, this bar is not included in that. It's the only bar not included in that. A shopping desk, there's um, usually somebody standing there waiting to help you with uh, shopping at the ports, giving you ideas, referring you to places. the Voom internet station. If you need help with that internet, there's a um, sign on that stand on what their hours are. 
lot of fine jewelry shops on the ship, watches, diamonds, just all the bling. They also sell jewelry like Pandora and Swarovski. Get services. Up on the left is Cafe Promenade where they will have snacks, a little breakfast in the morning, sandwiches in the afternoon, into the late, late evening. I think they don't close until three. That's Oliver. The coffee that he sells is part of Starbucks, but not named Starbucks, um, and it is not part of your cruise fare. So you can come in and get in the snack line or you can get in the coffee line. The snacks are free, the coffee is paid, or if you have the package, or you can use your vouchers. Kate Spade store there on the left. Those stairs are not for uh, the passengers. Fans will go up there and play. Boot and Bonnet is a great English pub. Um, I'll show you the drink menu in just a moment. Uh, they have specialty drinks and then at night they have a guitarist that plays. It's a really a fun place to come to, to listen to music, sit back. Normally on a seven night cruise, that guitarist is gonna have one night off. So you wanna check the schedule. They have uh, every bar has their own menu with specialty, specialty drinks. My favorite in this bar is the Lito. I think my husband's is the El Toro. sell duty-free well all the sh all the shops are duty-free that story right there that we just saw was the liquor and cigarette and um, other little they sell snacks in there um, I think there's a wall of toiletries in there but what I was going to say is the uh, alcohol when you buy it you cannot take it to your room right away they will actually deliver it to you the day before debarkation on air is mainly the karaoke venue in the evening. They also have sporting um, those TVs because there is no playmakers on this ship. They will um, show some of the football games in here. They also use this room for trivia and other little events like napkin folding, arts and crafts. I'm gonna go outside now and show you this is where the walking and jogging track is and it does go all the way around the ship. We are going to speed it up a little bit so that uh, you can just kind of get an idea of what it looks like without spending too much time on it. You can also access the fitness center from outside on deck five. The fitness center can be accessed from deck five outside or deck six inside. Look how fast we're running. These are all lifeboats on the right hand side. Hope we never have to see the um, inside of one of those lifeboats. It is nice to come out here and sit and view, read a book, especially if it's cooler weather out there. For me, cooler. I don't like the super hot. Oh yeah, so um, service animals are allowed on the ship and that's their little potty area. Little encouraging signs are pretty cool. I've always thought they were neat. 
there are a couple of clocks hanging on the wall. So if you're, if you don't have a watch on and you're just kind of keeping track of how much time you're walking, they have clocks out there for you to be able to track that. As you can see, there are doors leading inside throughout this deck. Once you're out here, doesn't mean you're stuck out here for the whole lap. This is really neat. A lot of people don't even know that this exists because some people don't go out to the walking track, but it's a nice little area. It's never crowded. Up ahead, we have the entrance to the fitness center. We'll be going inside the fitness center shortly. So as a full-time cruiser, we have a free gym membership that, to be honest, we don't use it as often as we should. Here we are, moving on to deck six. We are in the aft end of the ship, and this is known as the boardwalk, and oh, is it so much fun. Have you ever seen a merry-go-round on a ship? When we had our nine-year-old granddaughter with us on one of the cruises on this ship, actually. Um, oh my gosh, we spent a lot of time in this little area and she just had a blast. I will warn you of one thing, when they have the family party out here and they, and they have the cotton candy, the cotton candy is not free. <laughs> Starbucks, this Starbucks is not included in your drink package. Hot dog place is included. Hours of operation change, so you just have to check the app for all of these because it depends on if it's a sea day or a port day. Merry Ground, I think, starts at 10 a.m. Now, I did have a balcony overlooking the boardwalk on one of our sailings and I loved it. It did get a little noisy, but I really had a great time in that cabin. It was really a lot of fun to look out and watch everyone having fun and listening to the sounds. So don't get that cabin if you don't like to hear a little noise. The arcade is extra. You have to pay for tokens, or I think it goes on the kids' C Pass card. Johnny Rockets is also extra. The slide is really fun. as a mat slide, not a water slide. Sabor is the Mexican restaurant and it is extra. They have specialty margaritas, three different specialty margaritas. They also show um, some sports up here, but they don't like to consider themselves as a sports venue, so they don't like to change the channels for that. This is the Aqua Theater where you're gonna see the water shows. Again, this is one of the ones where you wanna make reservations in advance. If it's football season, they will show some football games on those big screens, as long as the show is not going on. It's a really cool show though. Those are Aqua Theater um, cabins. 
the balconies. Those are their balconies are really neat. I do have a video out showing the suites on the Harmony of the Seas. If you'd like to see the suites, just search for the um, Harmony of the Suites, Harmony of the Seas Suite Cabins. They allowed us to go in there and videotape all of them. I came back for when it was open so I could show you. And then regular merry-go-round music is playing in the background. Yep. 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So coming back inside on deck six, walking to the left, we're going to have the schooner bar up ahead. So again, we're in the aft end of the ship here. That's also the loyalty desk here. Her hours are her or his is uh, normally like for three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening. In between, they work at guest services. This is a venue where they have a pianist. They play a lot of sing-alongs and it's just a really fun atmosphere in the evening. Overlooking deck five. A lot of trivia goes on in this uh, schooner bar. Here's their specialty menu. They're very famous for that lavender daiquiri. I think there's a lavender martini also. Coming out of the scooter bar, going to the other side of the ship. The starboard side is the photo gallery. If you took pictures, you swipe your card at those little uh, computer stations and your photos will come up on the screen for you to decide if you would like to purchase or not purchase. They also sell Specialty frames. This is actually a frame. You put your photo in there. It's pretty cool. Photo blocks and cameras and film and such. There is no way to get through from one end of deck six to the other end. So we walked across, I went downstairs, walked across five and came up the stairs. This is in the forward part of the ship, the Vitality Spa and the Fitness Center. This is, uh, the snacks here are free. The protein shakes, the coffee, the orange juice. If you have the drink package, it is included. If you have vouchers, it's included. If you don't, then you have to pay for it. So they have all your needs regarding pampering. They have massage, teeth whitening, manicures, pedicures, hairdressers. You can get your hair fixed for formal night. You can get a haircut. If you want your hair done for formal night, you'll want to make that appointment early on because they do book up. They get very busy. They will also try to sell you a ton of products at the end. So what I always do, if I ever use their service, before we ever get started, I tell them, please don't pressure me to try to buy anything. I'm not buying a thing because I don't want to hear it at the end. <laughs> 
I do have friends that use this Elemis product and they love it. I personally don't need it. And I don't want them to try to sell it to me. <laughs> I do facials back here. So what do you think? When you go on the ship, are you going to get a massage? Let me know in the comments if that's in your plan. I have had the ship massages and they really are very good. A little pricey, but you know, sometimes you just gotta pamper yourself. If your ship is going to Costa Maya, that is really a great place to get a massage on the beach. Um, just ask in the comments if you want more information on that and I'll give it to you. But it's only $20 an hour for a massage on the beach in Costa Maya. Hey, did you hit that like button yet? It would be great if you all did. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Here's the fitness center. It is not open 24 hours a day. The sign is posted for the hours. When you walk in, um, I should have showed the sign, but as soon as you walk in is where the sign is. If memory serves me correctly, it closes at 10. And that's how to get to the walking track right there. They have classes in here. Um, most of the classes are extra um, money for that, cost extra. You can book the classes on your app or they can help you right there in the fitness center to book those. Little spin classes, TRX classes, really a full gym here. The treadmills, I love these because you're overlooking the ocean, especially when we're out to sea and I'm on the treadmill. It's just so beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Moving on to deck seven, we're in the aft end of the ship. And the only reason I want to show you this is because if your cabin is on the aft end of the ship, if you come up the the wrong side of the elevator you can't get through. We did this on boarding. We were on the port side. Our room was on the starboard side and we had our luggage. So we had to go down, over, out, through, cross. The, the forward side, there, there is a pass through, but because of the boardwalk, there's no pass through here. So you wanna make sure you know which elevator to go up on boarding. Deck eight is Central Park. This is, um, right now I'm starting in the forward part of Central Park. So I'm, I went to the forward part. And I'm gonna make a big loop around so you get to see it all. One of the things I love about Central Park are all the photo um, area opportunities that you have with all of the greenery, the seating areas. It's a great spot to just grab your camera, grab your kids, grab your friends and come out here and get some great photos of yourselves. And there's also shopping. overlooks um, deck five right there. That's where when we were on deck five and I 
lifted the camera to show you the around the talking head. Well, that's that's where we are. We're above that. On the right here, this is Park Cafe. It is included in in the price of your cruise. It is part of the cruise. Hours change, so again, just you have to look at the app. They sell, or not sell, excuse me. <laughs> they offer soup, salad, and their famous sandwiches. Well, not the grab and goes. They're not famous for that, but those are good because you can grab one of those and keep it in your cabin for at night in case you want a snack. But I can never say the word correctly. It seems like it's a Kummelwick, <laughs> something like that. There, there it is right there, Kummelwick. It's a roast beef sandwich and it's delicious. They also have a panini press, a hot press, um, where you can get like tuna melts, Cuban sandwiches, veggie portobello. A lot of people don't even know this place is here, it exists. I don't know, a lot of people don't walk around on deck eight, I guess, but it doesn't normally get super busy. ahead right here is the trellis bar at night they'll play more like a jazz style music or sometimes there's a violinist sometimes there's a guitarist I guess it does change depending on um, who's on the ship at the time but it's nice to come out here at night and have a drink and listen to the music this is chops steakhouse which is not in your cruise fair it's a specialty dining and it's good. This is where the floating bar would come up and uh, you can get off or you can board it. Chops is sometimes open for lunch. I, I think it's open on the sea days for lunch. Again, it's extra though. If the doors there don't, if sometimes the doors don't open as they should, in front of every one of those doors is a little button. If it, so if it doesn't open, you just hit that button. Dazzles Club, which is really a great spot for dancing. It's also open during the day. Nothing usually goes on in here. So if you just wanna sit and read this is a good spot i a lot of times will bring my computer in here and just do some computer work in here it's a two-story dance club so we're in the aft end of the ship at this time so Dazzles is on the aft end of deck eight. One Fifty Central Park is another specialty restaurant. Great seafood, great steaks. This is not part of your cruise fare. It is additional. I 
I don't recall 150 Central ever being open for lunch. Isn't this so pretty? I just love this. Central Park is also a great place to find ducks. Here we have Jamie's Italian restaurant, specialty dining, not included in your fare. Very good food, very good wine, very good service. Vintage's Wine Bar. Drink package is included. You can also purchase little tapas plates. They have wine tasting shows in here, which is additional cost. Uh, wine pairings, they'll have like a Camus Day or, um, oh, they have wine for women, which is extra. All, of, all the little classes are extra, but it's also another fun place to come to and just chill, relax, Listen to some nice music. Again, another spot where I sometimes do my computer work. A lot of little places where you can get away from the large crowds. I show this um, to show you that in case, and it did happen to us once, it started pouring when we were in Vintages once, and that door is, anybody can go through it, and it goes to the inside, so you don't have to go out in the rain. <laughs> That was a neat little find for us. Nine, 10, and 11 decks are cabins only. So we're jumping right to deck 12. Aft, aft elevator, floor number 12. We are going to go and see one of the most fun restaurants in all of Royal Caribbean. We are about to go into the rabbit hole. Before we go through the magic door, I want to show some places over here to wait. Fun chair over there. Boy, soon we will go through the door. I'm looking for the royal, very royal VIP. I'm looking for the royal VIP. We have Princess Bonnie, Princess Ashley, there you go, Prince Jason, and last but not the least, but still very good looking, Prince Adrian. Ta da! Welcome to the Magical. I'm ready for some fun, ready for Wonderland experience. Would you like to pass the Magical? Because the Wonderland experience starts with the Magical door. Let me open it. Once we say Alice in Wonderland, the first thing comes to our mind something magical. Full of surprises and unexpected. In Wonderland, imaginative, we see imaginative. So you need to use your imagination. Yeah. Additional to that, you need to be open. Magic. Magic. Uh, there you go. I'm going to open it for you now. Lights, camera. Mark, where do you want to go? Down the rabbit hole. Heck yeah! What a great.
Welcome to my vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe. ring the bell, subscribe, and ring, ring the bell. The <laughs> Just vote now. Vote now. Buy now. Buy now. Pay, pay later. later. <laughs> All right, we are here. We are officially in side of Alice in Wonderland. Come hither. Hello. Come hither. Hither. Look at the what, menu. What is she going to be doing? Check out the menu, the magical menu. So what if you use a different color? Do you get a different menu? No. That's cool. Ooh. All right. What magic happens over here? Star magic. Magic magic. Goodness, I can't wait to get out there and see what kind of craziness is going on. All right, let's head this way. Down the rabbit hole steps. So, we still have some seats open. Hello, sir. Are we live in YouTube? Well, Don't guess... forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Listen to what he says. May the force be with you. Hakuna <laughs> Matata. There you go. There's where the magic is happening back here. Don't forget to click and click and click. And click and click and click. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Everything in here is so awesome. We love when we come in here. Look at the view. Incredible. Right out the back of the ship. We are leaving St. Martin. And we see it on the horizon out there. Harmony of the seas. As you come into it. Sit down at a table, that's what you see. Mad Hatter will bring you, bring you down here and sit you. There's no deck 13 on the Harmony of the Seas. Our grandchildren were very happy about that. Deck 14. This is the card room and library. We are in the aft end of the ship here. Feel free to take a book. Feel free to bring your books from home and donate them to the library. They do ask that you put the book back if you've borrowed it that week. Computer stations back there for uh, anyone to use, but you do have to have your own Wi-Fi service. You have to have purchased it. Now there's, um, you could walk to the other end of the ship through the cabins. We are now in the forward part of the ship. This is where the kids adventure ocean is. It's gonna get a little jumpy here um, as far as the videoing goes because we couldn't videotape when the kids were present. So we're just kind of showing you all the different areas that the kids go to uh, under supervision. Kids Club closes at 10 p.m. Um, when you wanna use the free service. Now you can pay $10 an hour per child from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. They have the kids section um, sectioned off by age group, tots, then three to five, six to nine, and so on. 
On day one, you wanna come up and register them. That's nine to 11 here. You wanna register them. Whether you think they're gonna be using the facility or not, it's a good idea to get that all lined up and ready to go. So much for the kids to do if they don't want to do what you are doing. And the staff is just amazing, really amazing. All right, so 14 forward. This is a little hidden gem here that we're gonna show you. You go down the hallway. We're going out that door up ahead. This is part of the solarium, which is the adult only area. The solarium is three decks, decks 14, 15, and 16. But here's what I really wanna show you. This is so neat. This little glass area, you can see the water. You're standing right over the water. It's pretty neat. It's a great photo opportunity. The solarium has a few hot tubs, no swimming pool on this one. I, they made a mistake in my opinion on the Harmony of the Seas by not having an adult swimming pool in the solarium. I don't know, <laughs> but there are a few uh, hot tubs. Helipad, which um, is not available for passengers to go on on this ship. What do you think? Do you like the solarium? Let me know in the comments. So once we went up those stairs right there, it turned into deck 15. One of my favorite venues is here on deck 15 in the solarium, which we're gonna show you in just a moment. It's called the Solarium Bistro. It's available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dinner, they do ask that you make reservations, but oftentimes it says sold out. Now I will tell you this, a lot of people will make reservations and not show up because it is a free venue and it is amazing. The food for dinner is fabulous. If you like Mediterranean style food, it is what I always describe it as an upscale buffet. The food is already plated for you and you go up and you just take the plates. They have lamb chops, salmon, chicken, um, and then your regular Mediterranean salads like tzatziki and hummus and pita. And um, they do have a little salad bar as well but you really should check it out for dinner. 
if you wanna miss the main dining room one night and don't wanna to go to the wind jammer, this is a great place to go. It is really a little hidden gem. So many people don't know about it. Look at all this, so, so many hot tubs around. One of those could have been a little pool. <laughs> Towel checkout. If you check it out, make sure to put it in, bring it back because they're going to charge you $25 per towel. And on the last day of the cruise, you'll see the line at guest services, um, the, like debarkation day, because a lot of people saw that on their account with the $25 fee and they have to get in line to drop off their towel and get it taken care of. So now we've left the solarium and now this is just open deck. Um, we're on deck 15. The perfect storm slide. So deck 15, all the pools. Our grandkids just love, love these slides. They just spend all day. They don't want to go to Adventures Ocean. They want to do the slides and I don't blame them. I call this one up ahead, the toilet bowl slide because the kids, they are adults too, go around and round and round. And we're actually going to show you somebody going around and round and round from the sweet deck uh, area. So show you that here in a little bit. You'll get to see it. If you like to go to the hot tubs late at night, usually one is still open. You just need to find which one because they take that time to clean them. So they'll shut them down except leave one open and then they'll shut that one down and open a different one. So if you're late at night, hot tubber like I am. You just have to find the one that's open. There is one side of this deck that's smoking. I believe it's the port side that's the smoking side. So if you're a smoker, you have a few places. You have the casino. There is a smoking side on deck five. Is that right on the ship? Mm, could be wrong. That could be a thinking of a different ship, but deck 15 for sure. And the casino. Some of the ships, part of deck five is smoking. So I cannot remember. I don't smoke, so I, I should have paid more attention to that while we were on it. A lot of showering areas for fresh water. Some of these pools are um, sea water, salt water. And so I like to wash that salt water off. I like to wash chlorine off too after I'm done. A lot of places to get drinks and the bar service uh, do come around to the pools also. And so you can be standing in the pool and you can order your drinks. Nice splash pad for the kids. So here we're all the way aft.
you'll see people eating that ice cream everywhere. <laughs> Mark used to eat like five ice creams a day. He no longer does. This is mini bites and it is available um, for free. It is part of your package. They offer um, quesadillas, some nachos, some little burgers or just little snacks. And it does get busy. Those machines are for if you have the drink package and you have one of those magic cups, you just stick it in there and it's got a chip. So you can't save them from cruise to cruise, but because it'll know whether you have the package that week or not. This is a sports area, a couple ping pong tables. This is a shared basketball pickleball court. The schedule is posted as to when pickleball is and when basketball is. Deck 16 is a fun deck. This is the zip line. We're gonna have some of the slides, the flow rider. Zip lining is free, flow rider is free. All of these activities I'm getting ready to show you, no cost. Whee! I'll admit I've yet to do it every cruise when I'm on these big ships. I always say, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to do it this time. But really, I'm going to do it. My next big ship, I'm not on a big ship right now. I'm on a Freedom class while I'm making the voice for the video that we took. So my next big ship is going to be the Wonder in, a, in about a week and a half. And I'm doing it. <laughs> so I actually made this, filmed this video a couple of weeks ago. And it took me a little bit to put together. And now I'm doing the voice. Lowrider is so, it looks so fun. I'm not going to do it because I'm prone to falling. <laughs> I don't really want to get hurt while I'm on a cruise, so I'll just watch others enjoy it. I just love that view in the back. The ultimate abyss. So this is the, the one that ends on deck um, six. Remember that on deck six on the boardwalk, the mat slide, the little um, swirly one at the end of the boardwalk? Well, this is where it starts. Pretty crazy, huh? This guy's good. He's done this a time or two. I can imagine that it is not as easy as he's making it look.
Whoop, wipe out. <laughs> mini golf on a cruise ship. <laughs> Cornhole, mini golf, just so much to do. All free. Tallest slide at sea, the ultimate abyss. I also have not done it on my list of things to do. <laughs> I'm kind of a scaredy cat. The living room for the, is for the teenagers. This is their hangout place. There are, it took us a while to find a time where we can come in here and uh, where no kids were, because obviously they don't want us videotaping in here when there are kids present. present. This is the teenage hangout. I think it was a 12 to 17, ages 12 to 17. It's kind of a wide gap if you ask me, but it's, there's supervision there too. The patty store is not open very long. It's kind of, you really have to look at that schedule if you need any services there. They do sell equipment in the patty uh, area there. Super Mario, full-time cruiser. He's been cruising full-time for over 23 years, all with Royal Caribbean. He is our hero. I wish that we would have taken a moment to talk to him just then, but he was working. A really super nice guy. If you ever see him, stop by and say hi. Imagine living on a cruise ship for over 23 years. How incredible. I mean, we've been doing it a year and a half. Still can't believe we've been doing it a year and a half. Over a year and a half. Arcade is extra money. So there was an arcade on deck six, and this is the bigger arcade. Not restricted to just kids. Adults can come in here and play. <laughs> Get your kid on. As we see right here. <laughs> I love watching adults on those things. There's a little shop that's hardly ever open. It's only like two hours on sea days and that's it. I 
feel like it's wasted space. Moving up to deck 16. Right now, we're in the... Well, they're doing a drill right now, so that's what that was. But right now, we are in the forward part of the ship, which is the solarium area. This is deck 16 of the solarium, the third deck. So again, the solarium is deck 14, 15, 16. Do you think you can find some things to do? What's been your favorite part so far? What are you most looking forward to? I remember the first time I went on one of these big mega ships and oh, I was so blown away. I got lost time and time and time again. That's why we're so happy to be able to do these videos for you folks. So maybe you can kind of understand the layout of the ship before you ever get on the ship. So you don't get as lost as I did. <laughs> also is a great opportunity when watching these videos to see the little hidden gems that we talk about. You haven't even seen my favorite place yet. I do like to get away from the crowds a lot of times. Again, we're on the ship all of the time. I can't have constant, constant crowds. So I do like the getaway places like Dazzles and Vintages. So here we are in the aft end of the ship. So remember, the aft is where the food is, forward where the shows are. We're heading into the Windjammer, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's free, no reservations required. They have washing stations as you walk in. The Windjammer offers so much variety. This um, little bar area, they serve uh, gourmet coffee, fresh squeezed orange juice. If you have the drink package or if you use vouchers, all the beverages you see right here, those are all free but uh, from where the bartender is, you pay for those. And once you walk into the wind jammer, you could go right or you could go left. Well, actually there are two entrances. One is to the right, one is to the left. If both sides are open, they offer the same foods on either side meeting at the very end of the buffet. So all of this food is gonna be different from what you see so far since we've walked in.
And there's more around the corner here. Okay, now we're overlapping as soon as we hit right around here is when the other side is the same as the side we just walked through. Mark is not getting ready to walk back in the windjammer. He's gonna take you outside. <laughs> I know it looks like he's getting ready to go back in, but he's not. <laughs> This is the place to go for your sail away party. Deck 16 is so much fun. Um, unless you wanna be in the middle of it on 15. If you wanna be in the middle of it dancing, you go to 15. If you wanna watch, you go to 16. 16 is generally a little less crowded. If you don't have a balcony cabin, this is also a great place to watch as you're coming into port or leaving port. Here we have the Sweet Lounge Sun Deck, which we'll go up there in just a moment. Here we go, turned around. And let's scan our card. You have access to this deck, which is on deck 17. If you are in a suite, which is a grand suite or above, junior suite doesn't count for one reason or another, it doesn't or if you are a pinnacle with Royal Caribbean. Also, if you're a masters in the casino. Pool towels are already here. You don't have to worry about that. This is a bar with, and here we go, chips free. This is the only place on the ship these days that you can find free little bags of ship chips. Little hot tub here. I wish again, I, all these places with the hot tubs, I wish they had little swimming pools too. So we're on deck 17 forward right now. This is the forward, we're overlooking the solarium. These little cabana type areas are all first come, first serve, free. Towels waiting there for you. You don't have to check them out. In the summertime, it does. It's too hot for me to enjoy this area. I really enjoy the heat when I'm in a swimming pool, sipping on a daiquiri. <laughs> so you generally won't find me up here in the summertime. I do love these, just lounging out on these beds, reading a book though, when it's nice and cool. Now here's one of my favorite spots. Whoop, down the hole she went. This is that, oh, I can't remember what they call it, but I call it the toilet bowl slide. <laughs> oh, somebody's coming down the street right there. And hello. <laughs> I like to sit there in that chair and read and watch them go down that slide. Now, the first time I ever came up to this pool deck, I couldn't figure out how to get out of this thing because the sign wasn't great. That gate is locked. 
So see that press here? Press there for exit. That sign never used to be there. You didn't know how to get out. So here we are at deck 17 aft. This again, um, this area is for people with, in a suite, grand suite or above, pinnacle or masters. It's a private bar and dining area. If you are in a junior suite, you can have dinner here with reservations only. Other than that, it's just private. They do have a, a wonderful breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two concierge desks. And this is included in the cost of your cruise if you're eligible to come in and enjoy the facility. There I am. <laughs> In the morning, they have a light breakfast, afternoon snacks, and in the evening, they have a happy hour hors d'oeuvres here. The coffee is always available. They also have hot tea, hot chocolate. And regarding the bar that we're going to see, the hours are from 11 to 11. At about five o'clock, this place does fill up. People like to come and talk and meet during the happy hour period. Obviously, I like to come up here and read. <laughs> I hope that you can one day be a pinnacle and have access to this area. Pinnacle is 700 points on your crown and anchor card, right? Or in your account, rather. Coastal Kitchen. Woo! We got a thousand steps in, I swear. This is a big, big ship. Yeah. Well, welcome back. How did you like it? Did you see your favorite part? Your, your favorite bar on there? I will mention that right now we're actually in Central Park. And yeah. it's one of our favorite places. There's some, um, it's just a great place to be. You can hear birds chirping in the it's background. Cool in Even one time, there was an owl that, was, that had Pretty sort of gotten true story not trap but it, it they, sailed with us for the whole week until yeah. wildlife came on when we got back to port we're walking down through there and there's Al just sitting up there true story. so they had to come and get it but anyway had a ton of fun on here this 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 ship is incredible we really loved every minute that we were on here had us had so much fun a lot of fun and until next time absolutely bon, bon voyage, voyage.